Hi guys, what I want to look at today is adding some sounds to a Revit model so that Enscape can show that to us within a VR environment. I'm just going to use the simple sample project over here. Browse to plan view. Save this file out into my blog directory. At the moment it's a read-only file, I'm going to save that in my blog directory. There you go. Then on the Enscape tab, I'll have the opportunity to play some sounds um, onto a selected face. And there is placed a sound which I can then reference to a WAV file. This WAV file is not very large. If we look at the properties of it, we can see see it's about 9 megs, 10 megs or so. All right. It's not a very large file and that then opens this file over here. On this family, on the properties, you'll see on the sound file there is the path that is this displayed for this sound source. I'm going to save this file. And then Enscape, I'm going to say, well, sound is enabled. That's great. And I'm going to press start. At the moment it will open up within my Enscape window and we should be able to hear the sound. As we come closer, some wonderful sounds of Bach, J.S. Bach, fantastic. as we come closer to the sound, so it becomes louder. Right. So there is my Enscape sound. But now I want to do something even better. What I want to do is I want to embed that sound into a family. Now, A, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a family. I'm going to load a sofa, of all things. It could be a radio, anything like that. Uh, within my library, furniture, there's some seating, there's a sofa. Uh, I know that I do not have this component somewhere else within this file. And there it is. There's only one of them. If I select all instances in the entire project, then I can see there's only one of these items within my project. Fantastic. All right. So first of all, the sound file, I'm going to edit the family. And then I'm going to make sure that the properties are shared in because I'm going to nest. I'm going to nest this family into another family and so I want to share the parameters into a different family. So I'm going to save this file. Um, save file as. And I'm going to save that also within my blog directory. Then I'm going to load this into the project without closing it. And overwrite the version that is there. Right. There it is. Then I'm going to edit the sofa file, and now I'm going to load the Enscape sound source into my sofa family. So load into project. I'm going to load that into my sofa family, and I can then place that within a plan view. going to place it over here on the right hand side. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the properties over here of the sound file. It's got the sound file property and I'm going to map that onto a new parameter which I'm going to call sound source. It's going to be an instance parameter, so family parameter, sound source, instance parameters, automatically because I'm mapping it, it's automatically selecting the right discipline and the type of parameter. I'm going to group that under the general setting of parameters. I'm going to say OK. Alright. So this is now linked, mapped to the sound source 
text parameter that's exactly as I want it. I'm going to save this family as in my uh, blog directory and I'm going to load this into the project. The project I'm going to load is in the RSC basic sample project. So overwrite the existing version. I'm going to delete uh, the original sound force that was put onto the face of the floor. So this is one family. All right. Next, I'm going to look at the sound source, which I can find over there. It's an instance parameter, so for each one of these I can indicate a different sound source. And I'm going to look into my block directory over here. I've already set up a path. There we go. It's the block directory. To that sound file. So I'm copying that and then I'm going back into Revit and what I'm going to do over here when I select this component on the sound source that is the path of the sound file that I'm going to paste in there. Okay, it didn't take. Control V and enter. Okay, so you see it's got a little bit of trouble taking that path. Eventually it takes the path and that's fine. Save this file. Go back to our Enscape tab. Make sure that sound is enabled. And then let's see whether this is going to come through. Just a last quick check. Yes, it's still got that path for that sound file. Let's go. And there we go, the sound is right. Fantastic. Right, so there's two different ways in which you can get sound within a Revit file. So you can hear that within an Enscape render. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Enjoy putting sounds within Revit so you can experience that. And remember also with regards to the, um, let me just tab to it, you can see that, uh, you know, obviously these are grayed out because it's nested within another family, but you're also able to say what the volume number is. The the volume, let me show you that with within the family itself, within edit the family, you can now adjust how loud and and, and how the sound source attenuates. So how loud the sound source is on the volume number there, that's probably decibel, the full volume distance and the zero volume distance. So at 20 meters and at one meters, you get full volume. All right, so guys, enjoy your um, putting of sounds within Revit, uh, small wave sounds and uh, yeah, have some fun. Until next time.